I can explain how I became successful and who I am today by going through what I call Dr. Schwarzenegger's six rules of success. But before I start, I just wanted to say these are my rules, and I think that they can apply to anyone, but that is for you to decide, because not everyone is the same. There's some people that just like to kick back and coast through life, and others want to be very intense and want to be number one and want to be successful, and that's like me. I always wanted to be very intense. I always wanted to be number one. I took it very seriously in my career. So this was the same when I started with bodybuilding. I didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times. The same was in the movies. I didn't want to just be a movie star. I wanted to be a great movie star that's the highest paid movie star and have the buff the title building. Uh, and so this intensity always paid off for me. This commitment always paid off for me. So here are some of the rules. The first rule is trust yourself. And what I mean by that is, is so many young people are getting so much advice from their parents and from the teachers and from everyone. But what is most important is that you have to dig deep down, dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who. And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. So rule number one is, of course, trust yourself no matter how and what anyone else thinks. And of course, rule number two is break the rules. We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. It is impossible to be a maverick or a true original if you're too well behaved and don't want to break the rules. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth? if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble. The only way that I ever got any place was by breaking some of the rules. Which of course brings me to rule number three. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. You can't be paralyzed by fear of failure or you will never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it's the right thing to do and success will come. So don't be afraid to fail. Which brings me to rule number four, which is don't listen to the naysayers. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this and you can't do that and it has never been done before? Just imagine if Bill Gates had quit when people said it can't be done. I hear this all the time. As a matter of fact, I love it when someone says that never, no one has ever done this before because then when I do it, that means that I'm the first one that has done it. So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. I listened to myself and said, yes, you can. And that brings me to rule number five, which is the most important rule of, world, of all. Work your butt off. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. I never wanted to lose a competition or lose an election because I didn't work hard enough. I always believed leaving no stone unturned. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. And that's the way it is with everything. No pain, no gain. So many of those lessons that I apply in life, I have learned from sports, let me tell you, and especially that one. And let me tell you, it is important to have fun in life, of course, but when you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. Now, if you want to coast through life, don't pay any attention to any of those rules. But if you want to win, there's absolutely no way around hard, hard work. None of my rules, by the way, of success will work unless you do. I've always figured out that there's 24 hours a day, you sleep six hours, and you have 18 hours left. Now, I know there's some of you out there now and says, well, wait a minute, I sleep eight hours or nine hours. Well, then just sleep faster, I would recommend. <laughs> because you only need to sleep six hours, then you have 18 hours left, and there's a lot of things you can accomplish. As a matter of fact, Dead Turner used to say always, early to bed, early to rise, work like hell, and advertise. Just remember, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in a pocket. And that takes me to rule number six, which is a very important rule. It's about giving back. Whatever path that you take in your lives, 
you must always find time to give something back. Something back to your community, give something back to your state or to your country. Tear down that mirror. Tear down that mirror that makes you always look at yourself. And you will be able to look beyond that mirror and you will see the millions of people that need your help. And let me tell you something, reaching out and helping people will bring you more satisfaction than anything else you've ever done. Remember those six rules. Trust yourself, break some rules, don't be afraid to fail, ignore the naysayers, work like hell, and give something back.